Hey everybody, it's Chris Knighton. It's the 17th week of 2022. And I was thinking about something this past week. Uh, I took a few days off and went to visit some friends, but was really thinking about um, why some people seem to have momentum or success in life, whatever that means to you, or just momentum. I think success is like a long-term, you can't really put a, a, a number uh, or any kind of fact on success because it has to be internal but when you're talking about say production whether it's this business or if it's in fitness or if it's in relationships or um, your finances whatever that is I really was trying to think about what the what that means because I see some people get there quicker than others or some people just give up beforehand and if you've ever read the book grit uh great boring as hell full disclaimer but great book that said the biggest determining factor of they've found is this factor of grit, your grit factor of, of basically getting knocked back down, getting back up and doing it, just continually doing it. And I was thinking that's definitely one of the things um, that's, I, I truly do believe that. But the one thing I really do feel is that the people that see success or momentum, because again, momentum can shift up and down and success is up and down. And some days you feel great. Some days you feel like, at the bottom of the mountain and just getting the, the crap kicked out of you. My biggest factor I feel for people is doing things when you don't want to do them. Doing more than what you want to do is more specific. Anybody can go to the gym, right? Go to the gym, get a membership. Um, but do you do more than you actually want to? When you're for our business of, of, real estate, whether it's lead generating, it's meeting more people, doing a little bit more than you really want to, that leads to these little incremental changes that lead into this exponential growth. Um, if you're thinking about your finances, if someone just, hey, I want to spend money on the stuff I know I shouldn't, but I'm not going to because I'm going to do the things that I don't really want to do that are going to benefit me or eating a piece of cake at the end of a meal. Should you? Probably not, but sometimes you're going to indulge. But do you limit yourself to do the things that you know are going to be beneficial long term, even though you don't want to? So it's not only showing up, but it's actually doing more than you actually want to. And if you can get past that and push yourself, because it sucks. Like in my family's home sick today, it's, it's about giving up a hundred times a lot. And it happens to everybody. It happens to me like every single day. Like, why am I still doing this? It's very, very disheartening a lot of times. However, if you just continue to do it, you're still putting yourself in the next step, next step, next step, which just leads to the most success. That's what I've seen from my uh, most successful people that I've run into, but would love to hear your thoughts as well. Happy Monday, everybody. Cheers.